Namaskar to all traders and welcome. So today in this video, I'll be making the comparison of three pro firms that provide two-step challenge with no time limit feature. I have chosen Funding Pips, Finotif and Smart Prop Trader. They are very on high demand these days due to the recent activity that happened on the pro firm industry. Since the MyForex fund have been closed, many people are switching the pro firms to these pro firms. Let's see like which pro firm to choose for yourself if you are interested in two-step challenge funding models with no time limit. Okay, so I have chosen various factors like I do in any comparison video. So the first factor that I have chosen is origin, where they are based on. The funding pips is based on UAE, Dubai, and Finotif is based on Europe, and Smart Prop Trader is based on US, United States. If you look at their profit target in funding pips, the phase one target is 8%, and phase two target is 5%. And in Finotif, it is in phase one, it is 7.5% and in phase two, it is 5%. In a smart prop trader, it is 7% and in phase two, it is 5%. Now, if you look at their daily drawdown, it is 5% in case of funding pips, which is calculated based on the balance. Whatever the balance you have at the starting of the day, from there, it will be calculated. And in Finotif as well, it is balance based drawdown. It is 5% daily drawdown. And in a smart prop trader, it is 4% and it is calculated from the higher of equity or balance, whichever it is at the starting of the day. Now the maximum drawdown is 10% in case of funding pips, which is fixed and static. It will not trail if you make the profits. So it will remain fixed with your initial balance. So in Finodif funding, it is 10% fixed. It will not trail. It will remain wherever it was initially, wherever it was, it will remain fixed there. And in smart prop trader, it is 8% here as well. It is a fixed type of maximum drawdown. Now let's look at one of the factor, one of the comparative factor, comparative figure that is risk to reward expectation. It helps us to determine which challenge will be easier for you depending on the risk, depending on the target that they are expecting and the loss that they are allowing you. So if you look at that, the way we calculate is 8% is the target in funding pips and in phase two, it is 5%. Eight plus five divided by the maximum loss that they are allowing, it is coming one is to 1.3 and in finotif it is coming the risk to reward expectation is coming i'll calculate the same way that i i had calculated in funding pips that is 7.5 plus 5 divided by 10 that is 1 is to 1.25 and in smart prop trader similarly it comes 1 is to 1.5 now with the risk to reward perspective with the profit target and the maximum loss perspective the challenge the easiest challenge would be phenotype the lesser the risk to reward expectation easier the challenge will be so easiest challenge is phenotype and the toughest challenge is smart prop trader out here among these three prop firms now if you look at the account type that they provide is they provide all of them provide simulated type of account they don't provide a real account even if you pass the funding challenge they will always provide you a simulated type of account and the leverage is one is 200 in case of funding pips in case of finotive as well in case of smart prop trader as well the leverage is one is 200 in all three prop firms the leverage is one is 200 the minimum trading days is none in all three prof firms. They don't have any minimum trading days. In funding pips as well, no minimum trading days. Finotive as well, no minimum trading days. And in smart prop trader as well, there is no minimum trading days. The broker that they use is in funding pips, it is Black Bull Market. In Finotive, they have their own liquidity provider that is Finotive Markets. And smart prop trader, it is 8 cap. The trading platform, if you see, 
in case of black bull markets in case of this funding pips it is mt5 they provide in case of finotive they provide only mt5 in case of smart prop trader they provide both the platform that is mt4 and mt5 the commission is three dollar per lot in case of funding pips in case of Vinotive, it is four dollar per lot and in case of smart prop trader it is six dollar per lot now if you look at their profit split that they give is once you pass the challenge and receive a funded account the profit split is in case of funding pips it starts from 80 percent and with scaling they will give you 90 percent of profit split in case of Vinotive, they provide you 75% of profit split at the starting and with scaling they will give you 95% of profit split. In case if you want from the beginning itself if you want 80% of profit split then you can use the coupon Jamson FX in case of innovative funding so that you will get the discount as well you will get the added profit as well. In case of smart prop trader the profit split is 85% it starts from 85% and with scaling it goes to 90 percent now if you look at the payout the way they give you the payout payout model is in case of funding pips after you place your first trade on the funded account after five days they will give you your first payout and on five day basis they will give you your payout you can request for the payout the minimum payout criteria is one person of the account size you have to have at least one person in order to request the payout. In case of Vinodive funding, you will receive the first payout anytime you want. The minimum payout is $25. That is the minimum amount that you need in order to request the payout. And after that, you can re request the payout in a weekly basis. In case of a smart prop trader, you will receive your payout after 12 days of your first trade in the funded account and on a 12 day basis they will you can request for the payout in case of smart prop trader and you have to have at least 118 dollar minimum in order to request for the payout in case of smart prop trader now let's look at the news trading in case of funding pips uh, you just understand they have given some condition that you can trade over the news but you cannot trade during that high impact news in two minutes time frame so news trading is not allowed in case of funding pips in case of finotive news trading is allowed in case of a smart prop trader as well the news trading is allowed overnight and over weekend holding is allowed in all three prop firms the requirement of stop loss next factor is the requirement of stop loss that is in case of funding pips it is mandatory to use the stop loss in case of funded account so you have to use the stop loss in case of funding pips in case of finotive as well you have to use the stop loss within 60 seconds you have to put a stop loss within 60 seconds that is mandatory out here in case of a smart prop trader it is not mandatory you can trade without a stop loss as well now let's look at the scaling plan let's move to the screen in order to understand their scaling plan all three prop firms so in case of funding pips you have to make at least four payouts and they will increase your balance by 10 percent of your initial balance in case in second month you have received eight payouts including the first month then they will increase your capital by 15 percent on that initial balance after the third month in case if you have received 12 payouts including this two months then they will increase by 20% on your initial balance. In four months, if you have managed to receive a 16 payouts, then they are going to give you a hot seat in the firm with on-demand payouts and 90% profit split and a capital up to $2 million. And the trading conditions will be customized according to your own choice. So in order to request the payout, you have to achieve at least eight percent of profit and when you are requesting the scaling up your balance should be your account balance should be positive so that's the condition for funding pips and in case if you look at the finodif they have a phase wise scaling plan for different phase different different target they have 
Say for example, you have 100k account. In phase 1, you will get 170k. In phase 2, you will get 289k. In phase 3, 491. In this way, they are going to scale up your account. You can pause this video and check the table once. So for different phase, they have different target. In order to move to different phase, you have to achieve different different target. That is, in order to move to phase 1 from here to here, you have to achieve 8% here. In order to move to phase 2, that is, you have to achieve 9% here, from here to here. In order to move from phase 2 to phase 3, 10% here. That's how you have a different different target for different different phase. So that's how they are going to scale up your account. And they are going to scale up your profit split as well from 75% to up to 95%. In this way, they are going to scale up your account. According to the phase you are, you will have your higher profit split. Now let's look at the smart prop trader scaling plan, which is very easy and which is very interesting. It is the most interesting scaling plan in the, in the entire industry, I would say. So in case of a smart prop trader, in order to scale up, you have to have at least 2% or more than 2%, you have to, you have to gain the profit. If you do that, in three months, they are going to increase your capital by 25%. Every 25%, every three months, they are going to increase your capital by 25%. And your this profit split as well, it will scale to 90%. So you will receive a 90% of profit split once your account gets scaled up, up to a capital of 2 million, 2.5 million dollar. Now, not only that, they not only increase the capital size, they also do increase your drawdown as well, the maximum loss as well. Whenever you achieve the scaling criteria, they are going to increase your drawdown as well with 2%. So like if you have a drawdown of 8% at initially, then they are going to give, once your account gets scaled up, they are, you are going to have a maximum loss of 10%. That's how they are going to increase your drawdown limit as well every three months up to a 28% of maximum loss. That is amazing here. Now the last factor that is fees, account fees. What is the fees? Let's say you are taking a 100k account. In case of funding pips, you will need to pay $399. In case of Finotif, you will need to pay $500. In case of Smart Prop Trader, you will need to pay $467 for the 100K account size. In case if you want a discount on this price, then you can check the description. We have a discount link and discount coupon in the description as always we keep there. All right, Trader, this is it for the comparison of Funding Pips, Finotive and Smart Prop Trader. In case if you want to go with a two-step challenge, decide yourself. I have shown you a side-by-side -side comparison of these three prop firms.